Hey curl friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Rochelle and this is Disco Curls TV. Today's video is done in collaboration with QReDo and it's all about my postpartum edge growth routine. I'm going to go over everything I've done in the last couple of months uh, from my diet to my methods, the tools I use and the products. And I'll also be showing you some before and after photos. So if you'd like to see this routine, just keep watching. After having my son, I was still blessed with what felt like was thick, full hair. And you know, that lasted until about 10 weeks postpartum. Um, I of course knew this was temporary, so it was no big deal to me because I've just had my hands full. But around the fourth and fifth month postpartum is when I really started focusing on the health of my hair. There have been some parts of my routine that are super consistent, and then there are others that are very inconsistent. But what matters to me at the end is that I see results. I have mentioned in some of my previous videos that I'm not that concerned with my thinning edges and the postpartum shedding because A, I know it's part of the process and B, I have spent the last couple of years experimenting with several methods and devices and products on how to grow my hair back so I really haven't been that concerned. I can't guarantee that everybody's going to have the same results as me, and I certainly don't think you have to do all of this to have fantastic results. I'm just simply sharing my experience with you. So let's start with my diet. It's far from perfect, but if I've learned anything as a new mom, it's that sometimes you just don't have the energy or time or help to um, whip up like a fancy meal that's full of the essential fatty acids and nutrients that are good for your hair, skin, and nails. This will be one of my inconsistencies, but what I have been consistent on is taking my prenatals, biotin, and vitamin D. Prenatals are something I took prior to being pregnant, while I was pregnant, and currently postpartum. I really love these ones from Megafood. They are called Baby and Me Too. It's because you take two pills per day. They're really clean, and they don't make me nauseous like other pills I've taken in the past. Also, I currently take a high potency vitamin D supplement. Um, I have a vitamin D deficiency, and the last time I had a vitamin D deficiency, my edges were really thin, like almost bald, and I found that there was a correlation between that. So uh, my doctor did recommend that I take um, a vitamin D high potency just to bring me up to normal standards. Lastly, I take a maximum strength biotin. This is 10,000 micrograms. It's to help promote healthy hair growth and it also strengthens the nails as well. Now those aren't the only vitamins or supplements I take, but um, those are the ones I really use to focus on promoting hair growth. Now the way I keep track of this is I have um, a pill case and this is great because it's daytime and nighttime so you can literally you know it'll have every day of the week you can put in it kind of pops open too it's cool you can put in your am pills and then put in your pm pills that helps you remember that you have a nighttime pill to take as well and i keep it right next to my nightstand and that's how i remember to take them every night and if you want to find those vitamins and this pill case i will link it down below in the description box Moving on to some of my favorite tools. The first is the Kiri Do. Of course, I love this one because it can do so much for you. Um, this is a handheld vapor wand that produces warm steam. And basically, it can refresh your curls, it can detangle the worst of your knots, it can stretch your hair at volume, and it can help penetrate your deep conditioners. You can also use this as a facial steamer, just don't get it too close to your face. And I'll admit that in a pinch, I have used it to uh, get rid of a few wrinkles and a few blouses. It's not really meant for that, but I have, and it worked before, so that was an extra benefit for this. I've written articles, I've done product reviews, I have tutorials on this already. I will go ahead and link those down below in the description box. And I'll also place a card within this video so you can see those as well. The reason why this is so beneficial is because steaming encourages blood flow to the scalp, which in turn promotes hair growth. So essentially every time I'm using this, I am promoting hair growth. I use this about one to two times per week. The first is to deep condition and also help detangle. And the second time is just to really refresh and reshape the curls. You can place the prongs near the scalp to help if you're lacking volume and also it'll help um, bring the bounce back if your roots are kind of stretched out. If you're watching this video in the current month, December 2017, I have some good news for you. I have a promo code for $10 off a Q Redo up until December 25th, 2017. 
This is the perfect holiday gift for your curly friends or just for yourself. Just use the code HOLIDAY2017, all caps. And um, I will also link this down below in the description box as well as a direct link to QReDo. The next tool is a bit of a impulse buy. Um, I had heard that it helps with thinning hair, but I really don't know for sure. So I just wanted to try it out and see if it worked out for me. And it's called a derma roller. This is typically used for the skin to help produce collagen and I think it helps with acne and wrinkles. Um, but I really don't have any interest in that. I really just wanted to see if it would help grow my edges back. This is like a mini rolling pin that has tons of short needles attached to it. Trust me when I say I hate hate, 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 hate needles. So I was hesitant on this, but after a couple times, it really wasn't that bad. The one I use is 0.25 millimeters and after washing my hair and before applying my styling products, I part my hair, add a scalp serum that I will tell you about shortly, and then roll this along each part. I'm not going to go into all the details, but if you'd like me to do a separate video on this, just let me know down below in the comments. I'm a firm believer that having a clean scalp is essential for promoting hair growth. So even though I do co-wash, I also like to clarify. I'm really into the Diva Curl Build Up Buster. I like the Briogeo Scalp Revival. This is like a micro exfoliating shampoo because you actually feel the exfoliation. Um, also, I love the Jamaican Black Castor Oil um, Strength Grow and Restore Shampoo from Shea Moisture. and. If it's really bad, the buildup, I like to use a little bit of Dr. Bronner's. Um, this is the rose scented one, but they have a peppermint one that does feel kind of stimulating. So I'd probably suggest that one if you're going to use this. It is like really squeaky clean. So I try not to do it that often or I'll mix it in with like my shampoo that's not so harsh, I guess. But um, this one really does remove a lot of buildup. About 20 minutes before washing my hair, I like to use the Tropic Isle Living Strong Roots Red Pimento Hair Growth Oil and I apply this to my scalp. This is something I used to use in the past. This is also something that really helped grow my edges back. Plus it's all natural. Before I was using this during my scalp massages at night, but it's a bit of a heavier oil and it can weigh down fine curls if you overdo it. So now I just apply it to my scalp, massage it in, then follow up with the rest of my hair using a deep conditioner. I'll blast the QRD over my scalp and hair and then cover it with a shower cap. And then I'll leave that on for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then I'll rinse well and follow up with my wash and go. Next on the product list are my essential oils. My favorites are rosemary, tea tree, and peppermint oil. I can't seem to find my peppermint oil at the moment. Um, but the way I like to use these is add a few drops to all of my shampoos, conditioners, and stylers. I also like to um, give scalp massages with these and what I'll do is I'll add a carrier oil into my hand, just like maybe like a quarter sized amount and then I'll add a drop or two of each and I'll give myself a little scalp massage for like five minutes. This is definitely something I'm not consistent with. I really wanna be, but it just doesn't happen. There have just been too many nights where I don't get enough sleep because of my son and all I think about is sleep, so I don't even care. So at the most, I might go one to two times per week of scalp massages and you know, I'm still seeing results, so I can't complain. A newer product that I'm trying is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. This is something I add to my scalp after I wash my hair and before I apply my stylers. This is the product that I use in combination with the derma roller. I just like to part my hair, add a few drops, massage it in, and then use a derma roller over it. Now I'm gonna show you some before and after photos and give you a close up of my current hairline. This first photo is day zero on October 1st, 2017, which shows my left and right side. Now I'm just going to focus on one side of my head so you can watch the transformation. This is October 22nd and you can see it's slowly getting denser. On November 4th, you can see the thickening and it's actually looking more like waves. And here on November 26th, the waves are becoming curlier. Moving on to the other side, just within a couple weeks, there is a more dramatic change. And on November 4th, there is a major improvement on the length and density. And on November 26th, thicker waves on their way to bean curls. Now I'm going to show you live video of my hairline today, which is December 9th. I did wash my hair today and I really didn't do any fluffing or picking just to show more of my true texture. I feel like my hairline is much denser and I can finally put my hair into a ponytail without it looking crazy. 
Well, that's about it, you guys. I just really wanted to share my routine with you. Just a small disclaimer, when it comes to supplements, please speak to a doctor prior to starting any type of supplement routine. Um, I have a deficiency, that is why I take the high potency, but if you really don't need it, don't take it. And regarding the derma roller, this is something I'm experimenting with. If this is something you wanna try, I definitely suggest maybe speaking to a dermatologist or I believe the scalp doctor is called a trichologist before starting any of this because there are proper sanitation methods that you want to practice and because there's tiny needles involved you know you just want to make sure that you're playing it safe thank you so much for watching i'd love to hear from all of you about your favorite methods for hair growth down below in the comments don't forget to go down in the description box because there is a ten dollar off promo code for the kiwi do that expires december 25th 2017 Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you on the next one.